folks, welcome to another Master That Riff. Today we're going to look at Waco Junior by Rat. So tuning wise, I'm standard tuning for this. And I'm going to play all this riff using my fingers. So I'm just holding my pick in my finger here. Um, but you don't have to hold your pick. Um, but if you were, you know, playing the whole song, you want to be using the pick later on. So you might want to get used to kind of holding the pick and using kind of finger style like this. But the riff starts with this cool little uh, bluesy kind of bend. <laughs> Um, and what I'm doing here is I'm going to do a pre-bend 2nd fret of the G string up a whole step and release it and this whole riff has got a, a swung 16th feel to it so what you're going to do is kind of do uh, that release bend bend up and then do another release bend and you're kind of doing 7 release bends counting the first one so it goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and when you get to that Pull off to open G string and play second fret the the, the D string. Yeah. So the feel of this this release bend though is when you do the release bend, you sit on the released, you know, the non-bent string, and then you quickly bend up again. Yeah. So you have that kind of kind of swing kind of feel to it. Okay. And then we get to the main riff. So it's basically a bar long. This little riff. And the next three bars are exactly the same. So what we're going to play here is I'm going to play a uh, pan muted on the kind of E string and I'm going to use my thumb to play that. And this is going to kind of do even eighths for the first two beats basically. But what my middle finger or my index finger is going to pluck is the, the second fret of the D string there. Okay, so you start off with this octave first. Now notice it's kind of staccato, it's kind of controlled so it pops a little bit. So I play that, open E string, second fret D string, then I play the, the open E string, which is probably used to be the thumb on its own. So that's kind of one and. Then I play the open E string and the open D string. Okay, again, a little staccato feel. Then I'm going to play the open E string, probably muted. And then I'm going to play the, and that's on its own. And then I play second fret the D string on its own. It sustains a little bit. So that so far sounds like this. Now, what we have here is this note sustains, and the way I like to kind of get the feel of this is I imagine then I'm going to pull this off to play the open E string with the pan mute again. But you don't really hear that open D string, so it's kind of like um, you're releasing the pressure in the string but you, to get the groove. Like that, yeah? And then once I've done that, you know, second fret, and then open E, I'm going to do a bend. So I'm going to bend up, whole step, second fret of that G string, quick up and down, pull off to the open G, and then second fret of that D string again for the root note. So slowly that whole bar sounds like this. Okay, and we basically do that again for the next two bars. Then we have uh, this cool little bluesy fill. So we start off with our octave again and our open E string pan muted. Then I'm going to go. So I'm going to do a hammer zero to two in the D string, and then I'm going to play open G string. Okay, and that's going to beat two. Then I have this. So I'm going to play second fret of the G string, staccato kind of feel. Then I'm going to bend up and down. Pull off to open G string, pretty much like we did in the main riff. Second fret the D string, and then second fret the G string staccato feel. So that slowly a little bit sounds like this. Yeah. Then I have this. So I'm going to do a little hammer on zero to one in the G string, hammering onto that major third, and then open E string. Okay. Again, watch for the feel of the, the kind of swing 16th here. So that whole bar slowly sounds like this. Okay, a little bit faster. Okay, notice I'm using a combination of thumb and index finger there. So you, most of it I'm plucking with index finger, but you might, you know, experiment with using both fingers to do things like that. The hammer on, you might do that with the, the thumb and the G string, and then that gets the index finger free to do the high E string. Okay. Now after that, we lead straight into this kind of little uh, bluesy, little mini kind of uh, lick 
up on the, the B and E strings. So we've just done. Yeah, so what I'm playing here is I'm going to play open B string and then I'm going to do 3 0 in the B string, but I put a little bend in that third fret of the, uh, the B string. Yeah, with a pull off probably. And then I play the open E string after. Then I play the open B string. And then I'm going to do 3rd fret the high E string now with that little bend. But this one lasts a little bit longer. And then open E string. So slowly that goes. Then I've got a hammer 0 to 3 in the B string. And then open E string again. So that little phrase sounds like this. Again, get that swing 16th feel. Now the next little uh, kind of phrase is basically uh, like got triplet sixteenths in it. So everything up to this point has kind of been swung sixteenths, even sixteenths. This little, next little bit sounds like this. Okay, so I'm playing the open B string again. But I'm going to do three zero, pull off of the B string, and then high E string, and think of that as three notes. Okay. Then I'm going to play the open B string again, and then my little triplet now is three zero, pull off in the B string and then 3rd fret of that G string there, a little bit kind of flat 5, yeah, so that slowly kind of goes, and then we get into this end a little bit, and I'm going to play, so I'm playing this kind of triplet staccato feel thing, and I'm playing 3rd fret of the G string, open E string, and I'm going to pluck that with the thumb and the next finger 3 times, so it's kind of like a, a 2 and a 3 and a, and then in beat 3 I move that down to the 2nd fret of the G string. Yeah. And then we have this end little phrase. Now, when they're recording there's multiple guitars kind of coming in at this point. And I've noticed that uh, Warren Demartini in particular, when he's playing this live, he'll play something much like the main riff. He'll go... And then get into kind of the verse. On the recording though, it sounds like there's a little kind of um, inverted third kind of... Uh, kind of phrase here, and what we're going to do is play third fret the G string, and then third fret of the high E string. I use my second and third fingers here. Yeah, and I'm going to slide from that third fret to the second fret to the open G and B E strings. Just take the fingers off, basically. Then I play second fret of the G and E string to end it. So it's that kind of little flourish. On a single string on the G string, it would be so it sounds similar to the bend, and then you would get into the verse, which kind of repeats that kind of bit. Yeah, so that's it. Okay, I want to say a huge thanks to Joseph uh, for requesting this riff over the Patreon group. Uh, if that's something you want to do, you want to request some lessons, whatever, please come over to the Patreon page. You can do that if you're one of the patrons there, and of course you'll get access to the Guitar Pro tab for this lesson as well as the animated sound slice tab so you can play along you know loop sections if you want to work on some bits in detail and you also have access to the helix patch i've created for this or basically the tone research gear research that i did for this if you want to try and recreate it with your own gear if you've not got helix and of course you can get access to all other materials at jam tracks extended handouts etc for all the other stuff that i've uploaded to youtube yeah uh, if you are on instagram or facebook and twitter you can follow me in there and of course if you're not subscribed if you like what you see you wanted to keep up to date with stuff please hit the subscribe button and hit that notification bell as well and you'll hopefully get an update whenever I upload a video. So thanks for watching guys, have fun with that, it's a great riff. I'll see you soon.